Okay, this is a quick tutorial on creating animated GIFs. Um, I'm not going to do anything complex, and there's probably better ways to do this, but um, I want to just give you a basic idea. Um, the first thing is if I pick a bright color, um, and I try to put it, you'll see now I just realized I'm in grayscale. So I'm going to go Image, Mode, RGB Color. And one of the reasons we want to go RGB is because we want to edit this in Image Ready. Um, and we want to make sure it's also 8-bit. That's what Image Ready likes. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and just click a dot here. Now, right now I put it on the background layer. I want to undo that too. And I'm going to start with a new layer. Alright, and I'm just going to stick this dot on there. Kind of looks like the Japanese flag, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to copy and paste. And then I'm going to hide the previous layer. And I'm going to fill this layer with a different color. Wow. Okay, I filled that with a pattern instead of a color. <laughs> That's odd. I'm going to go to my foreground and I'm going to fill it with a color. Now you can see it kind of grew a little bit. That's a whole other issue. Um, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and paste again and then hide the blue layer and fill with even a third color like a green. Now this isn't very exciting. It's not really going to be too animated. But what I want to do is I want it to have it go red, green, or uh, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, whatever. And you can do other things with it too, but this is just a, a quick one. Now, right now, if, if I go and click this button down here, what that will do is edit this picture in Image Ready. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it opens up, and you'll see it has this little animation frame here. All right? what that does basically is lets me put frames so for example if I went let me go ahead and um, copy let's see here if I go grab these if I um not copy if I click these right here this duplicates the frames and I want to have three frames in my movie grab the red one the green one and the blue one so on my first one, I'm going to hide these other two layers. On my second frame, I'm going to hide that one and show my blue. On the third frame, I'm going to hide the red and show my green. So now if I play this, it's going to look like this, which is kind of psychedelic, but not really what I'm looking for. I can set this to last a second for each frame. Okay, so now if I play it, you'll see that it's actually doing this little deal up here. Alright, the other thing that's kind of cool is let me go ahead and I'll do File, Save Optimized As, and I'm going to save it to my desktop as .1.gif. Okay, and now if I go back and I delete the background layer in each frame, and Save Optimized, Oops. Save optimized as dot two dot gif. Now I think I just overwrote my first one. So I'll just go and put those back in here just so you can see. File. Save optimized as dot one. Okay. And now what you can do is you can actually, if you have a, a browser window open, I'm going to drop to my desktop here and drag dot one down to my desk to my explorer window and come up and let go and you can see it's actually animating and I could do the same thing with dot two just drag it over and let go all right now had I put this in a web page you'd see that it actually there's a transparent background on one and a regular background on the other um, one warning with the backgrounds and stuff is once you actually create your your animation when you put it into something like front page it it doesn't like you to resize an animated um, GIF so that's something to think about when you're doing this so I hope this all works for you and good luck with it